My name is Jeeva Orcher. Um, I'm from England and I was part of a, a band called Crass, uh, who were the second wave of, of positive punk after uh, the first wave of uh, Sex Pistols. Um, I have no interest at all in metal. I don't know really why I'm here except that apparently my artwork inspired a lot of the art artwork. There are two, two from album covers. The first small one was from Reality Asylum. Yeah, that was a, a single actually. It was a single and that was the poster for the inside. So we used to design the covers in a way that you'd have maximum space for image and, and word. So they would actually fold up three times. So you'd end up with, uh, if it was an LP, it would be 36 inches by 24 inches. And then the smaller ones, slightly smaller. So they were very big covers, so you could have a good time to work with the space. Um, the second painting along is... Um, oh, it's a, it's a painting of uh, the Queen and the Pope. It was uh, for a newspaper that I used to do called International Anthem. And it was a... the subject was Northern Ireland and the troubles that were are still going on. So it was an illustration for, for that newspaper. The next one is the first LP cover, Feeding of the 5000. That's another painting. And inside there was a big poster again. Uh, and the fourth one oh, was an illustration from International Anthem again. The subject was war. Well, the subject of the work is obviously political. It's not party politics. It's um, the politics of people. Um, not only their, um, their dreams, but also the nightmares of people that are caught in the firing line of war or uh, rape or whatever it is that's negative to life. But. Um, I never did those pieces without some sort of symbol of hope. So you have to find it in there, I think, somewhere. Because I think, you know, the resilience of humans is absolutely extraordinary, you know, uh, to come through a, a lot that I have never experienced and I hope never to experience, but I've met people who have been through horrors of life, you know, and have come out the other side still sane, which is pretty amazing, very inspiring.